Can India buy Su-57 fighter jets? Welcome back to our channel, today, we're diving into an exciting topic that's been making waves in military circles, can India buy Su-57 fighter jets from Russia? This is a question that has sparked debates among defense analysts, policymakers, and aviation enthusiasts worldwide. So grab your seats as we explore the possibilities, challenges, and implications of India acquiring this fifth-generation stealth fighter. Let's get started. What is the Su-57 fighter jet? The Su-57, also known as the PAC-FA, is Russia's answer to fifth-generation stealth fighters like the American F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. Developed by Sukhoi, this multi-role fighter jet is designed for air superiority and ground attack missions. Key features of the Su-57 include Advanced stealth technology to evade radar detection Supermaneuverability with 3D thrust vectoring engines Cutting-edge avionics and sensor fusion for real-time battlefield awareness The ability to carry hypersonic weapons and advanced missiles the Su-57 is not just a fighter jet, it's a symbol of Russia's technological prowess. But how does it compare to India's needs? Let's break it down. India's fighter jet requirements. India has one of the largest air forces in the world, but it faces unique challenges. The need to counter threats from adversaries like China and Pakistan. An aging fleet of fighter jets like the MiG-21s, which are being phased out. The push for self-reliance through the Make in India initiative. The Indian Air Force is looking for advanced fighter jets to maintain air superiority. While indigenous projects like the AMCA, Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, are underway, there's a capability gap that needs to be filled in the short term. Could the Su-57 fit into this scenario? Pros are buying the Su-57. Here are some reasons why the Su-57 could be a game-changer for India. 1. Cutting-edge technology, the Su-57 offers stealth capabilities, advanced sensors, and supermaneuverability, aligning with fifth-generation requirements. 2. Strategic partnership with Russia, India has a long-standing defense relationship with Russia, from the Su-30 MKI to the S-400 missile system. This partnership could make negotiations smoother. 3. Cost-effectiveness, compared to Western fifth-generation jets, the Su-57 is likely to be more affordable. 4. Operational range, with a combat radius of over 1,500 km, the Su-57 can cover vast areas, making it ideal for India's diverse geography. 5. Hypersonic weaponry, the Su-57 is capable of deploying hypersonic missiles, adding a new dimension to India's strike capabilities. Challenges and concerns. However, acquiring the Su-57 is not without its challenges. 1. Technical issues, the Su-57 has faced delays and reliability concerns during its development phase. 2. Compatibility, integrating Russian technology with India's existing systems can be complex and time-consuming. 3. The cost of maintenance, while the upfront cost may be lower, operational and maintenance costs could be high. For geopolitical implications, India's growing ties with the US and the purchase of Western platforms like the Rafale could complicate relations if it ups for the Su-57. 5. Focus on indigenous development, investing in foreign jets might divert resources from domestic projects like the AMCA. The global context. India isn't the only country evaluating the Su-57. So far, Russia has struggled to find foreign buyers. Countries like Turkey and Algeria have shown interest, but no major deals have been finalized. On the other hand, competitors like the American F-35 and China's J-20 are gaining traction. The global race for fifth-generation jets is heating up, and India's decision will have a significant impact on its strategic positioning. The India-Russia Connection India and Russia share a deep defense relationship. From the BrahMos missile to the S-400 air defense system, their collaborations have been fruitful. If India decides to buy the Su-57, it could strengthen this partnership. But there's a catch. India was initially part of the FGFA, fifth-generation fighter aircraft, program, a joint venture with Russia to develop a fifth-generation jet. 
However, India withdrew in 2018, citing concerns about the Su-57's capabilities and high costs. Could this deal be revived? Only time will tell. What experts say? Experts are divided on whether the Su-57 is the right choice for India. Some argue that it's a cost-effective option to quickly modernize the fleet. Others believe that India should focus on indigenous platforms like the AMCA and Tejas MK2. The key lies in balancing immediate needs with long-term goals. If India buys the Su-57, it must ensure technology transfer and local production to align with its self-reliance agenda. Conclusion and Possibilities So, can India buy the Su-57 fighter jets? The answer isn't straightforward. While the Su-57 offers advanced capabilities and aligns with India's requirements, it comes with its own set of challenges. The final decision will depend on factors like cost, geopolitical implications, and India's vision for its defense future. Whether it's the Su-57 or an alternative, one thing is clear, India is committed to maintaining its edge in air power. That's all for today's video. What do you think? Should India invest in the Su-57, or are there better options out there? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on defense technology and global advancements. See you in the next video.